barrio de Tepito. El barrio de Tepito. Tepito. El barrio bravo de Tepito. Tepito. En el barrio de Tepito. The only reason we are here is to figure out is the pito dangerous or not. My name is Andrés Lido and we're in Mexico City. Let's go and see the pito. Mexico City is a home for more than 22 million people. It has 16 districts. For example, New York City has only five. And those 16 districts actually have 350 neighborhoods. And apparently we are going to the most dangerous one. Tepito is famous for its boxing tradition. The first most famous boxer from Tepito was Kid Azteca. The next one was Raul El Raton Macias. Then Jose Medel. And the last one was Ruben El Puas Olivares. But unfortunately, kids are more involved right now in the crime, drugs, and this market instead of boxing. Tepito is the counterfeit gate to Mexico as a country. 70% of all counterfeit goods in this country comes through here. You can see a good amount of YouTube videos where guys are like Tourists alone in Tepito, the most dangerous neighborhood And then I saw this comment I was like, is it really dangerous? Or it's really exaggerated like a lot of things are When people try to get some fame, clickbaits and a lot of views So I had nothing to do but just to come here and see it myself A low income neighborhood with a lot of local gangs Connection to cartels and even cops here work with the cartels Tepito is not only stolen iPhones or counterfeit goods. There are a lot of drugs here. You can buy pretty much everything you want. Guns? Yeah, you can buy assault rifles here if you know where to buy them. And it's really dangerous. Robberies occur here every day. It's like a normal thing here. If you've been noticed, yeah, when you're gonna leave the market, they're gonna rob you at the gunpoint and quietly take everything you have. Kidnappings sometimes happen here. And if you're white and tourist like me, even cops gonna mock you. They're gonna like pretend that you have drugs and they're gonna not leave you alone until you give them some money. Another altar dedicated to the Santa Muerte. Seems like people believe in this area in Santa Muerte much more. More cycle robberies are seen here as well. So when you're on the bigger streets, watch your pockets and watch your bags. So this is Big Street Lagunilla and behind me is Tepito. Let's go! Here you can buy everything you want. There are a lot of counterfeit goods like the big brands, not famous brands. We just went through the shoe market and you saw those Nikes where like 10, 15 dollars, so you don't need to spend 100, 150 dollars, you can buy it 10 times cheaper. Okay, muchas gracias. So I got my drink here, that's Corona with a little bit stuff on it. So what's interesting that right now I'm walking on the street which I wrote in the internet that it's like very dangerous where you can buy guns, drugs and everything that you cannot film here. It's like the most dangerous part of the market. It doesn't look like that at all to me. I mean, people are very nice. You can buy some food, you can buy cerveza and things look like normal Mercado, honestly. He asked me to give him something and all I had is my beer, so I gave him my beer to make this guy's day a little bit better. Because of 
the light on my face. Andy Warhol once said, perception precedes reality. I knew this neighborhood is dangerous. That's why I was ready for a danger. I was on the edge. Any moment I was like, where are my pockets? Who is watching me? Where I can film? If you wouldn't know that this area is dangerous, you would be just enjoy your time. You would walk around, look where to shop, not knowing this is dangerous until you get in the trouble for not knowing that there might be a trouble there. What about my experience? I didn't feel safe. I didn't enjoy that at all. And I wouldn't go there again. And I wouldn't recommend anyone going there. It's just not worth it. There is no profit to gain from going there unless you really need a sneakers for 10 bucks that gonna be destroyed in one week or something but please don't go into this area it's the most dangerous neighborhood for a good reason and again be safe and really research where are you going and by the way as always please subscribe to my channel put the thumbs up if you like this video put the bell notification to be the next one who sees the videos first and really please do it because it helps growing the channel that's how algorithm works nowadays on youtube thank you and into the next one